Glioblastoma multiform, or glioblastoma, is a rare cancerous brain tumor that grows from a helper nerve cell called an astrocyte. It is classified as a type 4 astrocytoma, an aggressive type of tumor. Glioblastomas grow very quickly and usually affect the brain or spinal cord in adults, impairing normal function. Glioblastoma is thought to be caused by a genetic change which leads an astrocyte to replicate uncontrollably, forming a tumor. As the tumor grows, it spreads quickly, invading and compressing nearby brain tissue. Although glioblastomas can affect any part of the brain, it most frequently affects the cerebral hemisphere, which controls movement, sensation, memory, cognition or complex thinking, and language. Additional glioblastoma risk factors may include previous radiation treatments to the brain, a history of working in synthetic rubber manufacturing or petroleum refining, or exposure to vinyl chloride or pesticides, although most people who have had these experiences never develop this disease. Glioblastoma is more common in individuals between 45 and 70 years of age. Individuals often present with headaches, nausea, vomiting, and seizures. In addition, individuals may have neurologic abnormalities depending on the size and location of the tumor. For example, involvement of the motor cortex can lead to muscle weakness, involvement of the sensory cortex can cause numbness, involvement of the frontal lobe can cause personality changes, involvement of areas responsible for language can affect speech, and involvement of the areas responsible for vision can lead to blindness. Glioblastoma may also cause brain swelling or block the flow of cerebrospinal fluid, leading to increased pressure within the skull. These dangerous complications do not happen often, but if they do, may require emergency treatment. An MRI of the brain is usually one of the first tests performed when a brain tumor is suspected. Glioblastoma can be diagnosed when MRI images show a mass that is invading the surrounding brain tissue. Confirmation of this diagnosis requires a biopsy, guided by CT scan or MRI, to obtain a tissue sample. The sample is then examined under a microscope. Additional testing of the tissue sample can be done to identify unique tumor markers, which may help determine the best treatment plan. Though individuals with glioblastoma have a poor prognosis with low long-term survival rates, there are treatments available to prolong survival and to improve quality of life. These treatment options include surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, alternating electric fields therapy, and medications to reduce the impact of symptoms. Surgery is performed to remove as much of the tumor as possible while minimizing damage to the healthy brain tissue. Radiation therapy is used to destroy tumor cells that could not be removed during surgery. Because radiation also damages healthy cells, it cannot be used for an extended period of time. Chemotherapy can be used during and after radiation. There are three chemotherapy medications that are commonly used. Temozolomide damages the genes in cancer cells which cause the cancer cells to die. Bevacizumab reduces the number of blood vessels supplying the tumor, causing the cancer cells to die. A carmustine implant can be used to deliver treatment directly to the tumor site following surgery, targeting microscopic cancer cells that may remain. Alternating electric fields therapy involves the use of mild electrical fields that alternate back and forth. When applied to the scalp via electrodes, it prevents cancer cells in the brain from multiplying, slowing down the tumor's growth. It is administered using a portable device that can be worn during routine daily activities. This treatment can be used at the same time as chemotherapy, but not at the same time as radiation therapy. During all these treatments, oral medications may be used to help manage symptoms. For example, steroid medications can be used to reduce brain swelling, and anti-seizure medications may be used to reduce or eliminate seizures. Additional medications can be used to reduce nausea and vomiting, and other side effects of the treatments. All right. As a quick recap, a glioblastoma is a rare cancerous brain tumor with an aggressive course that arises from astrocytes. Symptoms include headaches, nausea, vomiting, seizures, and neurologic abnormalities. Diagnosis is made through imaging of the brain, with confirmation via tissue biopsy. 
Treatment involves a combination of surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and alternating electric fields therapy.